hi guys at this time in this video we will see more on entity list in dynamics 365 portal in my last videos i have recorded many applic many functionality uh, related to entity info entity list like uh, creating records you know uh, searching uh, enabling searching functionality and creating view details information for that entity list but this time i will tell you how to enable the edit feature for a specific record from the portal page for the dynamics 365 entities so to do that first you have to create an entity for uh, in a dynamics 365 you have to go to the entity and you have to go to the form and create a main form and you have to add specific fields on that form uh, I, I have already displayed that uh, process in my last video you can go through now once this form is created let me see uh, let me tell you this is the form i have created last time case create form which is used to create uh, a case records from portal page now i will use the same uh, same form entity form to update the specific record so the next step is once you have created the form here for that entity you have to go to here in portal management app model driven app here you have to create a create an entity form uh, by navigating to the sitemap and you have to give a name like uh, entity form portal and you have to select the entity case then you have to select this specific view that specific uh, uh, form that you have created let's say case create form but the important thing is this is same for all case creation case view details all same but here you have to see the more is in edit if you want to edit a specific record from the portal for dynamics 365 then you have to select edit mode okay for insert while creating records and for read only when you are displaying the record so this time i will use edit and the same as record source type will be query string so that the query string id will be passed to this form that will be opened for edit and the request query string uh, record query string id uh, query string parameter name is id you can change it also and you have to select the website and you, you can save it now once it is saved you, you have to go to power up portal studio then you have to click on this uh, entity list and here where you see edit record you have to select form this time you can use form you can also use web page and url i will show you in next class now once you click form you have to select the entity list that you have created the entity list for me is edit form portal if you see here you can check that edit form portal now once it is done i will click on sync configuration now once you synchronize configuration then we can browse website to see if it is working fine or not now once it is browsed you can see here the entity list where, when you click on this so you cannot uh, update this resolved case right once you open an active uh, case then click on this and click on view you will find a submit button on this view details page because it is enabled for edit now i want to edit let's say new update and i can change it to information and i can also change the customer but let, let it be a same customer but i have just changed the case title now i will submit once i will submit the updated value will be displayed here in the list now it is directly updating your dynamics 365 entity record right so this is how we can enable edit option for um, any record uh, from portal page to um, dynamics 365 thank you guys see you in next class